What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Lions video. Now, right after the NFL draft a couple of months ago, we did a segment, did a couple weeks where we went over, of course, the draft class, but more importantly, we went over the undrafted free agents. We talked about a lot of the UDFAs that I thought were going to make the team, a lot of the UDFAs that had an opportunity to both make the team, potentially see some playing time, and make a big impact on this Lions team. However, one of the guys that I did miss is a guy that a lot of you have mentioned, a guy that a lot of Lions fans are talking up, a guy that a lot of Lions fans are very excited to see, and that guy is Notre Dame alumni and wide receiver Javon McKinley. Now, Javon McKinley, as I said, is a fan favorite already, a guy that a lot of Lions fans are looking at, a guy that a lot of Lions fans are expecting to make the active roster come cut, come roster cut down day, and after watching him a little bit and after doing a little bit more research, I kind of agree with them. I think Javon McKinley has a very good opportunity to not only make the roster, but get some playing time and make an impact for this Lions team come the regular season, especially throughout their offseason and preseason. Now today we're going to talk about Javon McKinley, the former Notre Dame wide receiver, his strengths, his weaknesses, his measurables, his statistics, and really everything that you might want to know about the wide, the Notre Dame wide receiver. But before we get into that, if you are new to the channel and you are enjoying the Lions content, please consider liking the videos and subscribing to the channel. It takes two seconds out of you to do so. It's quick, it's free, and it's easy, and you'd be helping the channel a lot more than you could possibly know. So if you could do that, take those two seconds to like and subscribe. I'd be greatly appreciative for it. But all that being said, without any further ado, let's get right in to talking about former Notre Dame wide receiver and potential Lions UDFA steal, Javon McKinley. So we get Anthony Ryder from South Lyon, Michigan, recently selected as the Lions 2020 Fan of the Year. He has a passion about sports broadcasting. With the 112th selection in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Amon Ross St. Brown, wide receiver, USC. One pride, baby! Now, Javon McKinley, as I said, is a former Notre Dame wide receiver. Standing at six foot two, 215 pounds, he does have a really good frame for being an NFL wide receiver. At his Notre Dame Pro Day, he measured in a, with a 79-inch wingspan and 33-inch arms. At his Pro Day, Javon McKinley put up 20 reps on the bench press, put up a 4.57 second 40-yard dash with a 32-inch vertical and a 6.83 cone drill. Now, in college, he was not the most productive wide receiver receiver. He played two seasons at Notre Dame in both 2019 and 2020. In 2019, he only played in five games for the Fighting Irish, however, he and only had 11 receptions. However, in those 11 receptions, Javon McKinley totaled 268 yards, averaging 24.4 yards per reception with four touchdowns. Now, in 2020, he had a larger role in the offense, playing in 11 games a season ago, totaling 42 receptions for 717 yards while averaging 17.7 yards per reception while having three more touchdowns through the air. Now, as a total, Javon McKinley only had 53 touches in 16 games as a Notre Dame Fighting Irish. However, he did have 1,000 yards or 1,000 total scrimmage yards and seven total touchdowns. So if you look at that season by season, it doesn't look fantastic from a statistical standpoint. But if you look at it from his first 16 games as a college player, which is exactly the amount of games, funnily enough, that he would be playing as an NFL wide receiver, he had a 1,000 scrimmage yards. He did have 53 receptions and did have seven touchdowns. That is a really good year for an NFL wide receiver and of course he would not average that in the NFL and likely he would not have those statistics in the NFL but looking at his statistics at first glance it might not look fantastic but he did have some really good production when he was actually on the field and when he was given opportunity and of course I think a lack of opportunity was Javon McKinley's biggest downfall as a college wide receiver. Now McKinley is a very hot and cold wide receiver. One one game he's going to look like one of the best players in college football. One game he's going to look like one of the best receivers on the team and another game 
he may be very, very quiet, right? In 2019, he started week one versus Louisville with just one catch for 11 yards. However, the next week, he had two receptions for 85 yards, averaging over 42 yards per reception. And the week after that, he had 104 yards off of five receptions. So, and then a couple weeks later, you know, he had one or two receptions for 20 yards again. So very, very hot and cold. In 2020, he had four games of his 11 over 100 yards, but he had six games that he had less than 70 yards. And two of those games, he actually had seven yards receiving alone. Now, McKinley's problem, as I mentioned earlier, has really been consistency in the college level and has really been a lack of opportunity. As I mentioned, Javon McKinley is a guy that in his freshman year averaged 24.4 yards per reception and had four touchdown catches on just 11 receptions. That is very good efficiency. That is phenomenal efficiency for a Notre Dame wide receiver and for a wide receiver in general. But again, he only had 11 catches. In 2020, he averaged 17.7 yards per catch. That was one of the highest on the team, and he only had three touchdowns, which is not phenomenal, but he had a little bit larger of a role, and if he were to get more receptions, if he were to get more targets and, you know, had a regular season, he would have probably broken 1,000 yards on the season for Notre Dame, being one of the or, you know, he probably would have broken a thousand yards on the season for Notre Dame. Now, when you look at, when you look at McKinley's problem, as I said, it is the lack of opportunity, right? He played in 16 games for the Fighting Irish throughout his career. However, only two of those games, he had more than five receptions and actually averaged three receptions or less in a majority of his games. Throughout his time on Notre Dame, he averaged just three receptions per game, even though he averaged 18.6 yards per reception throughout his entire career. He had eight games throughout his career, eight of his 16 games at Notre Dame where he averaged over 20 yards per reception. However, he also had eight games where he had less than three receptions in a game. McKinley absolutely has the ability to make the extra roster. He absolutely has all the tools to be a very successful wide receiver, had all the tools to be successful at the Notre Dame level. And when he was given the opportunity, when he was given the football, he did make a lot of plays for the Fighting Irish. Had 100 yards in their win versus Notre Dame, made a lot of big plays early in their season, and did have a couple, as I said, did have, I believe, five or six 100-yard games in his college career. But again, had eight games with less than three receptions. Had eight games where he averaged over 20 yards per reception. You know, I mentioned the second game of 2019. He had he averaged 42 yards per reception, but was only targeted twice in that game. Like, how as an offense can you have a guy averaging that kind of efficiency and having that kind of an efficient night, and you only give him the ball two times. It doesn't make a lot of sense, right? His freshman year, or I guess not his freshman, but the first year that he saw playing time, he had 11 receptions. He had not even 15 targets on the season, and yet he had four, rece he had four receiving touchdowns on 11 total receptions. That is almost half of his, that is almost half of the time he caught the ball. It went into the end zone for a touchdown, and he averaged 24.4 yards per reception. That is elite level production, and yet only had 11 receptions, and I get it. Notre Dame had some guys. Notre Dame had a Chase Claypool. Notre Dame had some wide receivers that they wanted to get involved, and they had wide receivers that were going to be ahead of McKinley on the depth chart. But if Javon McKinley had the kind of targets that Devontae Smith got, if he had the kind of targets that even, um, that even, even Jamar Chase got under Joe Burrow, he would have been an easy 1,000 yard wide receiver, and I think would have been looked at as a very draftable player in the NFL draft this year. Javon McKinley has all the skills. He's six foot two, 215 pounds, very good height and weight for a wide receiver. He has 33 inch arms, very good wingspan, and very good length of arm for a starting wide receiver in the NFL. A 4 5 7 40 is not the greatest, but it's not a bad 40 time. His 32 inch vertical is not elite, but it's not a bad vertical. His 6.8, his 6 Six point eight three cone drill was not bad for a wide receiver. His production, as far as as often as he got the ball, and considering how few times he actually got the ball at college, his production was really, really good. And he's a guy that I think is going to be a dark horse. He's a guy that is not getting talked about. He's a guy that is not known around the NFL and is really not known by even a lot of Lions fans. You know, there are some people that, of course, as I said, are very high on him, but there are also a lot of Lions fans that don't even know who this guy is. You know, they see him wearing 83 in the hype videos and they're asking, who is that guy? Who's doing this? 
miss? Why is this guy getting hype? Or why is this guy in all these videos when we don't even know who he is? He's not a hyped up wide receiver. Like he's not a guy that's well known. He's not a guy that is really going to pop off. I guess probably at training camp, he's not getting the most opportunity. Although I have heard he played very well in rookie mini camp, but this is a guy that can be a potential UDFA steal for the Detroit Lions. This is a guy that can steal roster spots from Jonathan Adams Jr. A guy that can steal roster spots from Sage Surratt. A guy that can even steal a roster spot from maybe a Victor Bolden. He is incredibly talented. Javon McKinley does not have a lot of weaknesses as a player. The only real downside to his time in college was that he didn't get the football enough. And when that's your only downside as a wide receiver in college, when that is your biggest flaw is that your offense did not make you a focal point. Your offense did not get you the football. That is not on the, that is not on Javon McKinley. That is not a flaw of Javon McKinley. And to me, he should have been drafted. To me, he's a very draftable guy, a guy that the Lions needed a wide receiver. You know, the Lions were lacking a little bit at depth and Javon McKinley could end up being the biggest UDFA steal, or at least the biggest wide receiver UDF steal, UDFA steal in the entirety of the NFL. Now, again, I think Javon McKinley can make the roster. A lot of people think he is going to make the roster. He's definitely a guy that you got to keep an eye on for the preseason. He's wearing number 83. Look out for him in camp. Look out for him on highlights. And of course, watch for number 83 on the field come the preseason. But with all that being said, that is all for you guys today. Thank you all so very much for watching the video. Unfortunately, that is all we have for today. But again, I'll be back tomorrow with some more Lions content. So do not worry. But until then, until next time, and as always, go Lions!